All right, so the very first step when we're starting with X-Lights is to install the software. And if you haven't done it before, it's pretty simple. I'm going to run through it here on Windows. Uh, there's other versions available. It runs on Macs. I think it runs on Linux too, but um, I use Windows. And I know a lot of people do, especially if you're you know, wanting to do this affordably. You're probably using a PC, but you might have a Mac, and that's okay too. So I'm just going to go ahead to the downloads page here at xlights.org. And once that loads, we're going to go ahead and download the very latest version. All right, there's a nice little guide here as well, too. So all we're going to do here is let that guy download. And notice below it here, there's the uh, QM Vamp programs. And so what I'm going to do is download that as well. Next thing I'm going to do is uh, install the, both of these. Um, first, I'll install X-Lights, then the Vamp plugins. I'm not sure it really matters what order you do it in, but that's okay. When I first click it, I get the uh, Windows Smart Screen little notice there. I wanna click more info and then run anyway. This is basically just where Windows is gonna tell you that, um, you know, they, they don't know who this developer is because it's not like a major corporation and, um, and that's okay. I get that with a lot of programs I work with. So we're just gonna click next. Uh, you can, you know, select the options you desire, let it install. There might be a few times where you have to let Windows know that um, you're approving this installation. Perfect, and then you can uh, view the README and launch it if you want. I'm gonna uncheck both of those and select Finish so that I can go ahead and do these VAMP plugins. Now the uh, VAMP plugins, as I'm getting this installed here, I'm just pressing next through these, are some plugins that allow you to be able to uh, detect beats and uh, use that in your show. And I highly, 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 highly recommend you install those. Perfect. So once we've got that done, let's just go ahead and uh, launch it. Awesome. So get this splash screen and then the program launches. And this is where when there is a new version, you will get a pop up right here that tells you, hey, there's a new version. You can then click a link to go to download it or you can skip it or ask to be reminded later. My recommendation, as with any software, is that if you're programming away and it's early in the season, like this time of year, you know, feel free to download the latest version. But as with any software, uh, whether community supported or commercially supported, um, I would not use the latest version when you're running a show. I know some people feel daring and they do that, but I would rather, you know, stay with the slightly older version that I know works perfectly, does everything I need it to do then have a few new features. Now, if there's a bug or something in the current version and you want to upgrade, then, then sure do that. But that's the basics of installing X-Lights. Pretty simple. And in the next video, we're going to get started creating our first display in X-Lights.